Psalm 110 verse 1. <clears throat> Psalm 110 verse 1. Stay with me. The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. The word sit in the original Hebrew is sit, 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 sit. You know, that is sit and continue to sit. Sit thou at my right hand until I make. Now, the fulfillment of this scripture will happen after the resurrection. It will happen when? After the resurrection. When he says sit on my right hand, it's like my right hand man. You know, when I say Pastor Praise is my right hand man. I'm not saying Pastor Praise is always on my right hand. What I mean is that Pastor Praise is my man. Okay, right hand. Okay, right hand. Not right side. Right hand. <laughs> Not right side. People think the word right hand means my deputy. Right hand simply shows who is on the throne. Who is on the throne. It means that all authority is given to this person. Right hand man. So anyone who is at the right hand will be the only one seated at the throne. There are no three people on the throne. Anyone who is at the right hand is the only person occupying the regency or the throne. The right hand. Stay with me. That's why when Jesus said in Matthew 28 verse 18, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. What he was saying is, I'm the one sitting at the right hand. All power is given to Jesus. In Mark 16, 19, put it up for me, Mark, chapter 16, verse number 19. <clears throat> so then, after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. Sat on the right hand of God. So Jesus went to the right hand, meaning Jesus has all authority all authority in luke 24 51 luke chapter 24 verse number 51 luke 24 51 and it came to pass while he blessed them he parted from them and carried up into heaven and carried up into heaven which shows the fulfillment of sit 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 at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. So when you read John chapter 14, John chapter 15, John chapter 16, and you see, I go to my father. I go to my father. It's all over John 14, 15, 16. I go to my father. Then he said, then you will know that I in the father and the father in me it means you will know that i possess all authority you will know that i own and possess all authority john 14 16 to 20 i like to read john 14 16 to 20 and i will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever next verse even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not neither knoweth him but you know him for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you i will not leave you comfortless i will come to you next verse yet a little while and the world seeth me no more but you see me because i live you shall live also oh glory to god at that day hang on at that day you shall know that I in my father and ye in me and I in you. Are you here? John 15, 26, 27. John 15, 26, 27. But when the comforter is come, whom, the, whom I will send unto you from the father, 
Even the spirit of truth, which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me. Next verse. And you, sh and you also shall be a witness, because you have been with me from the beginning. Referring to the same events. You can also read at home John 16, 7 to 13. John 16, 7 to 13. Acts chapter 2 verse 32. Please pay attention. Acts chapter 2 verse 32. This Jesus had God raised up. Hallelujah. This Jesus had God raised up. Whereof we are, we all are witnesses. Next verse. Therefore, pay attention. Therefore, being by the right hand of God exalted, and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost, he had shed for this, which you now see and hear. Next verse. For David is not ascended into the heavens, but he saith himself, the Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou on my right hand. So this scripture fulfills Psalm 110 verse 1, that prophecy. Right hand means all authority. Look at Ephesians chapter 1 verse 19. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 19. <clears throat> and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us what who believe? According to the working of his mighty power. Next verse. Which he wrought in Christ. When he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand. Where? In the heavenly places. Next verse. Far above. You see right hand? Right hand means far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world but also in that which is to come. That is the right hand. These are scriptures that shows us the fulfillment of Psalm 110 verse 1. Philippians chapter 2 verse 5. Philippians chapter 2 verse 5. Mm -mm. Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. Next verse. Who being in the form of God taught it not robbery to be equal with God. But made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of his servant and was made in the likeness of men. Next verse. Next verse. Next verse. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Next verse. Wherefore, God also had highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Next verse. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. That is the right hand. Look at verse 11 of Philippians chapter 2, verse 11. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory. Hallelujah. To the glory of God the father why is it to the glory of the father because the father gave him all authority so all authority given to jesus is to the glory of the father so you can see that when you say right hand you mean absolute authority so here again the right hand of god is spoken of right hand doesn't mean delegation of power right hand doesn't mean to give all your power to a person i mean right hand means to give all your power to a person look at colossians chapter 3 verse 1 a few more readings colossians 3 verse 1 if you then be risen with christ seek those things which are above where christ seated where on the right hand of god God. He sits on the right hand of God. Hebrews 1 verse 3. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3. <clears throat> Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had by himself purged our sins. 
sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. Right hand again. Hebrews chapter 8 verse 1. Hebrews chapter 8 verse number 1. Now of the things which we have spoken. This is the song. We have such an high priest who is set on the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens. Hebrews 10, 12 and 13. Hebrews 10, 12 and 13. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God. Next verse. Right hand of God. From henceforth, expecting till his enemies be made his footstool. Hebrews 12 verse 2. Hebrews chapter 12 verse number 2. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. So, right hand simply means all authority. All authority. You see, it is inferred. In Hebrews chapter 2 verse 8. It is in fact Hebrews chapter 2 verse 8. Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet. For in that he put all in subjection under him. He left nothing that is not put under him. But now we see not yet all things put under him. But we see Jesus. So who is the person that all things are put under? Jesus. That's the right hand of God. First Peter 3 21. First Peter chapter 3, verse number 21. <clears throat> the like figure whereunto even baptism doth also now save us. Not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience toward God by the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Next verse. Pay attention to the next verse. Who is gone into heaven and is on the right hand of God. Angels and authorities and powers being made subject unto him. Did you see that? First John chapter 2 verse 1. First John chapter 2 verse number 1. Lot of scriptures good for your health. My little children, these things write are unto you that you see not. And if any man seen, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. Next verse. Who, and he is the propitiation for our sins. And not for ours only, but for the sins of the whole world. It is evident that Jesus is seated at the right hand of God. It means all authority. So we can say all authority. Notice the prophecy in Psalm 110 verse 1. He says, sit on my right hand until. So Jesus is seated for a purpose. He has all authority for a purpose. The word till is not to wait. Like you're expecting something to happen. Rather is to walk towards a goal. Or to walk towards a destination. So what is the destination? Why is he giving all authority? He is giving all authority so that all his enemies will be brought under his footstool. So the glory that followed Jesus must be the glory after his death, burial and resurrection. Therefore, the spirit that he gave upon his resurrection is the person of his glory. The spirit that he gave upon his resurrection is the person of his glory. 